Hi, hi, Genki Call here with the reveal of my pyramid build in Pal World. Now, I have kind of created two different genres as far as the pyramid build goes. Obviously, had to do some Egyptian in there, but I also added a kind of an Aztec feeling to it with the way that I put in the stairs, and I love it. Oh, goodness gracious, let me fix that. Ha ha ha, I have the wrong armor on. Okay, there we go. So let's head on over here. It must be getting towards morning. I just want to show you the nighttime effect very quickly here. And we'll see this again during the daytime. But we've got Anubis up here. Let me get down here. I will show you the coordinates in just a minute. I am running with three mods right now. I'll go over those three mods at the end of the video, obviously. I'm playing as Zoe right now. But the way that I have this built, it really can't be raided unless they're flying raiders and even the flying raiders are going to have trouble getting in here because of the way that i put this together but hold on a second i'll be right back all righty let's head oopsie i didn't mean to do that let's head on in here i'm gonna shut this door so it's you know it's functional um there is beauty to this place but i also included function oh, they're fighting outside my door this place gets um a lot of Howls outside of it. Um, I haven't been raided because I turned off the raids while I was building, but um, anyway, so we're going to go through the kind of functional area that we've got here. I have it filled with Egyptian looking um, beetles, the Warsex. We've got Anubis in here. Warsex because, you know, I need some electricity. Um, lots of logging in here because there are vines everywhere. And it took a lot of fiber to do. More functional stuff over here. The only thing that this place does not have that I have to bring in is ore and coal. That kind of thing. Uh, but we have a little office here in the middle of the hubbub. And hold on. Let me show you the location. The exact location of this PAL box is minus 553, minus 627. We are building at the foot of Anubis, at the feet of Manu Anubis. Hold on. We have a little PAL area here. Gotta go light the, the thing there. There. Now I feel better. All right. It just looks so much cozy here with the fireplace. All right. Let's head into the office here. And it is a nice, cozy office uh, where you can take care of daily business and have meetings if needed and just sit, read a book, relax for a little bit, um, do research, whatever you need to do, but still keep an eye on the pals because, you know, they're right outside the windows. But you can also shut them out if you wish. So uh, heading on over into, you know, we've got beds under the stairs. We have two breeding facilities because I like to keep them on the ground floor. Uh, it's so much easier when placing them. And of course, I had to have mouths in here. The mouths, you can't get much more Egyptian than these mouths. Anyway, we've got a little farming area over here. And then we're going to head up this left hand set of stairs over here to show you the second level of the place. We've got a little fountain area. Now I did place a bunch of these hot springs specifically in a way that the branches are going to show up outside of the build because I just really love the effect. Um, like right there, you can see branches coming through. It was the only way to get those trees to show through. I just caught myself on fire. Oops. Anyway, let's go head upstairs. They lead to the same place, of course, but we're going to take this one and we're going to come out right here at the food court area. So I've used a couple of the bars to create this area where people can come and order their food and then they can go over here and sit down, have a lunch or dinner, whatever they need to have, have a drink and just eat, drink, and be merry. Next up, you can see lots of room back there. I could have filled up, but didn't. Uh, 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 we have our workbench area over here. I'm gonna, this is the functional hot springs for them to come and hang out in. Over here, we have a hot springs that I place specifically uh, for the trees to be showing outside. We've got some workbenches here. This workbench right here, it's redundant. I don't need it, but I love the way that it, it fits into this space and the storage and the little work desk there. I just think it all looks very cool. So I went ahead and left this in here 
And then we have another workbench, a couple of workbenches over here on the side. And uh, here's the reason that other workbench is redundant, because I have this. Another farming area, or sorry, ranching area with mouse in it. And then I filled an entire cage with mouse because look at them. <laughs> Had to have them in here. Had to have the mouse. And then we're going to head upstairs. Up here we have the more... This is the breakfast nook. So we have a formal kitchen here. I, once again, I use the bars to create this effect. And put a, a full refrigerator and a kitchen uh, stove in here. And then people can sit over here and eat their breakfast together. Or if there are just a couple of people, they can head into this little breakfast nook right here. Or they can even hang out at the counters. When I was growing up, there was a counter in the kitchen. I always used to sit and watch my parents cook. Um, but here is this area. We have two rooms left in the build. The first is the vanity slash bathroom area. So here, ta-da! Um, it's literally just a vanity area to sit down just get ready for the day and of course we have an actual bathroom here because you know everybody's gotta gotta do these things uh, I went ahead and included the full bath and then through this other door we have the bedroom area and oh this is one of the mods that I use this is the plaster wall uh, but in here in the uh, we have a little bedroom office where you can just sit and do paperwork whatever you want to do just away from the hubbub of all of the pals and whatnot and then we have the actual bedroom area and you know it's a cozy little space this is connected directly to that other fireplace so it's like there's one fireplace that that is work workable on both sides of the wall I love that effect and um yeah, I just, I have a lot of these open areas. I didn't fully enclose the pyramid because um, I want to be able to use my flying pals to get out of here. And um, so there are plenty of spaces where I just throw down my flying pal and could just take off. And we'll do that now so I can show you the outside of this place. Now Anubis is blocking off things plus there's only so much room for a pyramid build I couldn't possibly get the whole thing in here so uh, I kind of made do with what I had available lots and lots of vines lots of trees and fires and uh, these structures here are the closest I could come to building an obelisk in the game and I made sure that those fly uh, those fires on top were floating because I thought it was a very cool effect and just for the daytime effect, we'll take a look here. This is a tree partially blocking Anubis's face, but I wanted that tree there because it looks cool. Um, I have logging sites on the outside here just so that, um, because I wanted the greenery, makes it a little prettier, a little less, you know, a little less desert like but like I said this is a combination of styles and we're just going to go outside here I may catch those fang lope well, I need to max out my fang lope but anyway that is the build I hope that you've enjoyed it please let me know your favorite elements of this this build in the description box below it's not a unique idea this is just my take on having a pyramid in the game there are plenty of others to check out so do a search for that have a wonderful day or night wherever you may be and we'll see you soon bye, -bye.